Hey, y'all. Uh, my name is Matthew Backus, and this is my important journey timeline. And I'm going to show you a, a, a PowerPoint presentation about it. You know what? I'm not going to do a PowerPoint presentation. Instead, I'm going to show you the day in the life of a Mac grad student. I feel like it's more important to see that, to see what my timeline, my journey is in this whole process. But you know what? It's time to clock out of work because I work full time. So let's go do that right now. I got a little bit of time before I go meet my clients. I have about two or three of them tonight. Let's make some dinner. You know, when I think about uh, my time here at CCU, um, I think about the past three years, like what statement, what advice, what knowledge could I share with someone who's just starting or someone who's never really been in the program? Um, one thing that comes to mind is when all the professors would tell us to trust our guts. And I used to think, why am I paying this much money to trust my gut? Well, they were right. They trusted us. They trusted us to know that we'll know what to do when that time comes and uh, with our clients. I also think about Dr. Rogers, who was very much uh, anti-APA format kind of counselor where Dr. White absolutely was. And it, Dr. Rogers' idea of a therapist was to not be so strict on APA, that we don't work with APA, we work with humans, we work with individuals, and that's the real therapy, that's real counseling. And he was right. But Dr. White also taught us um, that people come to their own validations, and we really need to allow them to do that. So there's a lot to be said about my three years here. Dinner time. Great dinner, great start to an evening of meeting with clients. Uh, I do this almost every single day. Uh, I see clients almost every single day. So this is a nice little routine I've got myself into. Um, but before I do that, I wanna talk about some people that I'm super thankful for. Uh, throughout this entire program. Um, if I had to say, uh, I'm thankful for my experience with my own therapist um, back in 2017, who encouraged me to actually pursue um, this goal in life, who helped me with my resume, who helped me with my application. I also want to thank uh, just some of the people that I've done role plays with in our classes. Um, some of the people I started with in seat and some of the people that I met online. Um, they've been so great to uh, get connected with. Uh, my buddy Josh, when he flew out here for residency, we met doing a role play online. And now we're one, we're, like we're really close friends and we are accountability partners and we call each other, text each other, uh, different things uh, throughout the week. Uh, and so I'm super thankful for that. I'm also thankful for the professors uh, like Dr. Bolte, Dr. Rogers, Dr. White, uh, Dr. Caselius, who have poured into uh, my learning as well as many other students' learning on um, on the questions that we have about just being curious uh, to we don't because this is a big mystery to us, and they helped us help it not be such a mystery. I want to thank uh, Jessica Klicka, my supervisor at Cornerstone, who has been guiding me throughout this entire process. Uh, Dr. Constance, uh, she has been so sweet into just texting me, helping me be connected with uh, the world of sex therapy. Um, and uh, Dr. Yvonne Damas, uh, who has given me the tools uh, and application of mindfulness and breathing work to help with my clients as well. Uh, overall, I am just so, so thankful for this process and the people who have believed in me, uh, such as my family and my friends. Uh, and I'm so thankful that I get to be in this position of uh, moving forward into the next step as a therapist. Well, it's about time for me to go get dressed to uh, go see my clients, so let's go get dressed. Let's go do some therapy. You know, one thing that I've been thinking about while I'm in training in these therapy rooms is that 
there's a lot of heavy stuff that's being talked about and also a lot of heavy stuff that's being thrown my way. Um, a lot of stuff that I have to forgive myself for, for not understanding or uh, being offended by. Um, a lot of things that uh, I have to ask for forgiveness uh, from a client for saying something maybe I shouldn't have said. Uh, and also just giving myself grace to try to understand this gray science of uh, therapy. Um, there's a lot going on here. And I think as a therapist, to understand that life is still precious and life is still worthy. It's a hard thing to realize. It's a hard thing to uh, kind of be a part of. So that's something I would want to pass on to future graduate students. It is 9.08 p.m. and I just finished my third session uh, tonight and uh, a lot of great progress made, a lot of good conversations, uh, a lot of good listening, a lot of good uh, talking, and um, I'm so happy y'all were able to join me on this little adventure of a day in the life of a, a Mac graduate student. So um, I hope uh, this gave a little bit more joy, a little bit more insight, and a little bit more clarity into uh, how some of us live our lives. And um, super thankful, super blessed to have CCU family around to help out with all this adventure. And uh, really appreciate you guys listening. Good to see you, my friends.